but overall the rationale behind the statement so i'm talking to the statement at the moment so it is premised of course on a sustainable development goal number six which is really about uh, clean water and sanitation we added for all because this is for all and then it is very much solution oriented so basically this is not only raising uh, problems or identifying issues <coughs> without providing solutions so when you read the statement you'll see there are a number of recommendations which have summarized in my narrative this afternoon the 16 contributors to this statement were drawn from about 12 um, entities within our national system of innovation so from universities you can see there some of the universities like university of pretoria stellenbosch uh, Vets University, where I come from, and uh, also CSR, where we are right now, and a number of other um, uh, uh, entities that are part of institutions that are part of our national system of innovation. So that is really that should talk to the richness or the wealth of the statement. It's drawn really from various sectors. The themes that uh, informed the statements, there are about five of these themes were really aligned with the discussion themes for, for the United Nations 2023 conference. So there is a conference that will be uh, in March uh, this year, um, which um, I'm going to talk about here. This, this conference, the UN uh, 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 conference that's taking place this year, is after the 1977 UN conference, which was in Argentina. So you can imagine the time that has elapsed in between. So there are discussion themes that inform the five themes that underpin our statement. So the first theme is water for health. That theme was chaired by Professor Eugene Clute, who is here. Uh, Professor Eugene Clute is the first speaker this afternoon. Um, and then uh, we also have uh, water for development, which is the theme that I chaired as the second theme. We also had uh, water for resilience, climate, and environment. That was chaired by Professor Paul Oberholzer, uh, who unfortunately could not join us this afternoon. Then we had uh, water for cooperation, which was also chaired again by Prof. Eugene Kute. And then lastly, we had the water action decade. The water action decade is also a United Nations concept, which was coined by the General Assembly in 2018. So the 2018 to 2028 is what we call the Water Action Decade. So the Water Conference in 2023 falls squarely in the middle of that decade. So this is the time really to start uh, reflecting and uh, asking how far we've gone since, uh, say, 2018. What are we facing as South Africa? There's an issue of poor water and sanitation infrastructure. We also have an issue with inequitable access to water. As a country, I must say, we can cite this as a problem, of course, but there's a lot that has happened in the last, say, two, three decades, and some of that has been summarized by Dr. Muwafe. The numbers that I'm going to share with you are meager, or very little compared to what they used to be, for example, uh, when one grew up. So we still, that as it may, have in a, in a, inaccessible access to water. There's an issue of poor water quality. Uh, because of uh, infrastructure again and the unsustainable uh, water demand because of population growth. And then if one looks at the uh, vision uh, statement, um, the UN 2023 Water Conference, we did well on time because when we discussed and said we have to issue the statement before the conference, it looked too optimistic. We seem to have done very well because the conference is, where are we now? Um, uh, 40, so it's in a week's time, actually. <laughs> so we did meet uh, the deadline. So this is the vision statement for the 2023 Water Conference. But uh, uh, without reading each and every word that you see there, this is very, very, very um, uh, informing. The ensuring a water secure world for all or and by all. So this says all of us have to be hands on. All of us should be shoulders on the wheel in this. So it's not about us uh, asking for water. The question is, what are we doing to make sure in our little ways that there is water? 